welcome back to my channel as promised I told you guys I would get another video uploaded as soon as I hit 50 thumbs up for my last video um, so this video is going to be part one of my pick my brain series so I'm going to give you some details about this series so over the years I've got many reoccurring questions um, asked by family members friends clients and even strangers so I felt like I should do a series about different questions I get asked on the daily so again these answers are not correct for everyone I know different coaches and different trainers that train differently um, the reason why they're correct in my eyes is because they have worked for me and my clients in the past and right now so again everyone trains differently don't think that because I think it's correct that's the only way to do it. There's many, many different ways to train. There's many, many different ways to diet. These are just my answers. And if you guys like this video and you would like me to answer other questions in the future, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get right into it. So let's get right into the first question. How many times a day should I eat? Okay, so I've heard so, so many numbers. I've heard two, I've heard three, I've heard four, I've heard six, I've heard ten. And honestly, I don't know what the correct amount of times to eat is, to be honest with you guys. I don't suggest twice a day for the simple fact that. So again, the reason why I don't suggest eating twice a day is because let's say you wake up at seven o'clock in the morning to get ready for work and your first meal will be eaten at around 12 12 31 depending on when your lunch break is okay chances are by that time you're going to be freaking starving and you're going to get the most convenient lunch for you whether that be a food truck um, the closest fast food joint, whatever you see, or even a Twinkie bar. I've heard people eat crazy things for lunch and that's the reason why I don't suggest two meals because you're fasting for such a long period of time that by the time you get something to eat, you're not going to care for what it is. You're just starving. So you're going to pick the quickest and most convenient place to eat. You do eat twice a day. So the next time you eat will probably be around 6.30 or 7 or 7.30 after you came home from work or the gym or whatever it is. And again, you're going to pick the most convenient and quickest thing to eat. And most of the time, you're not going to prep and wait for another 30 minutes until your chicken and veggies are finished to eat. Now let's go to the whole eating six times a day. Okay. For a newbie and beginner in the gym, I would never, ever, ever expect my client to eat six meals a day, especially if they are not even used to eating three meals a day. First of all, it's not practical and they are not going to do it. They're, they might lie to your face and say they're doing it, but they're not doing it, okay? It's hard for me already to eat six meals a day and I've been in the gym for several years. I cannot even imagine someone that's used to eating only twice a day to eat six meals a day, okay? So again, I think the my favorite number of meals eaten per day is three to four. If it's most convenient for you to get your meals in, three meals or four meals a day or five meals, do what's easiest for you, okay? Don't just listen to other people and say, okay, I need to eat six meals a day to lose weight. That's not the truth. Like, honestly, my clients eat four meals a day max and they are getting good results trust me you do not need to eat six meals a day to get to your fitness goal so let's go on to the next question okay many many girls ask me this on the daily okay so how can I lose weight without losing my butt okay so first off, you do need to work out your glutes for you to have some type of muscle in that region for you not to lose it. So when you do a lot of cardio and you're dieting and you're losing weight, you don't get to pick and choose where you lose the weight from. Okay, I wish it was like that, but that's not what's going to happen. So in order to keep your glutes 
mm, somewhat there while you lose weight, you need to have muscle in that region. Because if you don't have muscle in that region, that butt is just going to start sl uh, slimming down. <laughs> My baby's having a little dream right now, but Simba. Okay, back to what I was saying. You need to have, you need to work out your glutes for you to have some type of muscle in that glute region. So when you do lose weight, you're not going to lose your butt entirely. Okay. Another useful thing is that you should not be doing long distance cardio at a steady pace. That will be the death of you for one, and for two, you will lose your glutes very, very, very quick if you do that. But some of my favorite uh, cardio machines to do cardio on is incline sprints on the treadmill, Stairmaster, and Plyometrics. Those are amazing, amazing, amazing for um, helping you shape your glutes and not losing them completely. Okay. Now moving on to the last question. Man, if I had a dollar every single time someone asked me this, what is the best core exercise to get rid of stubborn belly fat and love handles? I hope you guys have a piece of paper and pen to write these notes down because they are going to be super useful. All right. So the best core workouts I would suggest doing to get ready to get rid of your belly fat and love handle is your diet, okay? Your diet needs to be better. It needs to be more consistent. And I'm not talking about a diet that you do twice a week. I'm talking about being very consistent with your diet. A cheat meal here and there is not going to hurt you, but you do need to eat healthy for majority of the week. Your diet needs to be better. Um, there's no way of getting around that. You need to be more consistent in the gym. You need to do some type of cardio throughout the week. Um, but yeah, doing 100 crunches, sit-ups, V-ups, whatever it is, will not slim down your stomach and it will not tone it either. I promise you guys, if you are consistent with your diet and workouts throughout the week, you will see huge, 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 huge changes in your body. I feel like one of the reasons why my girls, my clients get such good results in such a short amount of time is because they listen. They are so consistent with the diet, the cardio program, and the weekly workouts that I have given them. So... Yeah, they put in the work and they reap the benefits. And honestly, within three weeks, they see a huge difference in their body and their endurance. All right, so that concludes part one of my Pick My Brain series. If you guys have any other questions to ask me, feel free to write it in the comment section below and I'll get back to it as soon as I can. Um, again, thank you again for watching. And if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye, guys.